materialistic shit. It's about fucking this. Yeah. And this is what, why I know this man. Babe, I love you and I'll be there till the day you die. I promise you that. And thank you for life because you've given me life. You, This world wouldn't be the same without you. And thank you to the family for making this event. Thank you, Walker. Honestly, I appreciate Auntie Dora, Monique, fucking Ma, Pa, everyone, my sister. I could go on and on. You guys have just made this night. And thank you, my beautiful niece. I just want to sing for you and do the haka. <laughs> From all of us, well, we love you. Um, <laughs> 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 
we know you've been put this here, you've been all these years. You should know me as his uncle. It is up to here, my sister. Uh, we had a bit to do with him. Um, he was younger. He wasn't there, um, he was there to his place, he was there to his place. And he was there to his place. 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 He was there to his I was the one that sort of uh, kept the kids busy. Um, they'll be out by the gate while all the other kids were playing down the street, so I wouldn't let them at the gate because I was scared they'd get injured or something. But as they got older, um, so they got them all into sports. And um, you know, the benefits of the uh, all told So, uh, from me and Auntie Wilbur, and uh, my brothers and your sister, right? and uh, all the Wilbur's, we just wish you well, today and the future, and on your next journey, the you the best, we wish you the best. Have a great day.
just a little bit of compliment how uh, we're on it. We in a nightclub in, uh, back in our Canberra days. Um, I just remember Wilbur being quite young, pretty shy. And man, it's hard to talk to them. Right? Like, I'm talking to, uh, to a wall. I say, hey, bro, what's your name?
Yeah, Google wasn't allowed to drink with us when we were younger, he had to go for a run. <laughs> I should have followed him, but uh, <laughs> But uh, he was hard. Uh, Wilbur wasn't that bad, but, um, but you know, Wilbur, he, he hates us bringing it up, but the bro played in our role and he, he, he don't care. Um, I know my brother um, played over 300 games in the NRL and still looks up to him. He started it for us, just the way he was, he trained hard. Um, I uh, must have skipped my generation. But, <laughs> but we love you, my bro, and um, thank you for being part of all of our lives um, for many more years to come as well. Thank you. Fight the moon! Hey!
Hello everyone. Thanks for coming to Wilma's Lawyer. I'm one of the boys from Canberra. Uh, works for Wilma. And as you, as you all know, probably one of the greatest blokes, the most genuine bloke you'll ever meet. Now, what Wilma's done for the boys that work for him down in Canberra, the boys that work for him up in the South Coast, never ever forget it. Let's not be late. Love you, my love. Two years to come, we're talking to Nate. Two years to come, two days. Two years out there, we're going to hit the ball in the ring. The ball is coming, coming. We're going to get here. 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 Who wants? Two more. I think it's, um, become synonymous to uh, talk about Vic when it comes to Woolbuck, so Vic, I just want to encourage you, being put it all loved it, loved every bit of it, there's a lot of passion in there, sister, so being um, put it all. I also want to take this time to acknowledge all the speakers before me. Um, I know it's like to get up and speak in front of a crowd. Right now you can't see, but I'm crying inside. Um, <laughs> Um, so I just want to take this time to acknowledge our speakers. Te pika, totate koe karakia. I whareki, I whareki mai nei te te nei po, te nei te mihi tui atu ki a koe te matua, te na koe. Totate koe fa kahai re, ki a koe te parata waka, te nei te mihi atu ki a koe te parata. Toki tua kana, tako ero toki tua kana. Te nei te mihi atu ki a koe te parata. Ah, wubak. This is just a quick quarter though, man. I just wanted to get up and acknowledge my bro because um, um, I'm sure that most most of us here uh, are aware of all this time in Gladstone. Um, I stand here humbly in front of you and in front of you, my bro, to um, represent all the fellows from Gladstone. They all want to say um, that they love you, bro, and happy birthday. Um, you know, just quickly. We've all spoken about the service that Wuba has put in, um, like our, our Samoan brother um, that got up before me. Um, Wuba is a, is a servant of the community, therefore it qualifies him to become a leader. Um, but I already went to T1, said that um, if leadership, sorry, my apologies, if um, service is below you, then leadership is beyond you. But um, service is certainly not. Um, below Wuba, Wuba is strong enough to pick up um, those who have fallen down. And at one stage, uh, I had fallen down in Gladstone, and Wuba and Beck overnight picked me up, threw me into their fight for about a month, spent that time with them, and it was probably one of the most, it was one of the best months of my life. It was just the best man to be to be amongst both of you um, to share your guys' dreams. You too, sister, it was just um, a beautiful time, but, you know, on behalf of all the brothers um, that have worked with Wuba, uh, take a backward step, sorry, everyone, I work with Wuba, we're all scaffolders, um, scaffolders and riggers, so I just want to stand here and represent everyone who has scaffolded you, brother, um, you know, you've got footy players around here, you've got final members, and it's beautiful to see, but... I just want to stand here and represent everyone that's um, scaffolded you. And um, the way you play on the footy field, it's the same way you scaffold. You know, you're not afraid to chuck the load on your shoulders and um, take the whole team forward, bro. You know, you're a leader on the field, you're a leader in the scaff teams, you're a leader in your own company, um, you're a leader amongst our community, bro, and we're really proud of you. But um, I just want to reiterate that you know, I'm here on behalf of my final, but your brothers from Gladstone Bro. They all love you and happy birthday, brother. Because you all, because you team now, I mean, a man of a few words. For all of those that um, don't know us, Scorbrun, Neff, we love you so much. You're a man of action. And that takes a lot because everyone can talk the talk, but you actually have the talk. We've watched you since you were knee high throughout the years and what you've accomplished. 
You're so humble, and that's very real. So I want to acknowledge you, I want to acknowledge Sissy, I want to acknowledge Cozzy, because it starts with you. So I want to acknowledge you, Sissy. Come on, Cozzy Tina. Um, they're from all the William family, so I am actually Cozzy Rob's cousin. But from all the William family, and to Marky, Vernon, Shamrock, Jake, From from uh, how we want in there, and we will always be supporting no matter what you do for that. So you've got a big heart. It's our heart. So children, you need to serve all of this. Everyone we hear is it's not about the materialistic things. It's the heart, and it's what you and they service so kill the sister, kill the cousin, and from all the women found out in Ontario, happy for you, and from Uncle Dan. Thank you. I know I need you to send you around here in Nairobi. But we have a Pano tradition, and it's a white so I'm going to hand it to Auntie Tina. Oh, and my son's hiding somewhere. My son. Remain. We're up there. Language. Um, I was once told that you don't tell your father how to the F word. 
Um, so when you asked me what we should do, I was uh, as you see, well, you already know the foot and all the rope, you'll find no, they have got obviously five or ten eight ties and two body tall ties. So it's mostly representative of your father's side of the whanau no group. Um, so just a little bit of a disclaimer, the first part of the corridor might start a little bit of a fight because there's some um, some discrepancies around whether or not you think uh or young uh, is Tainui or Te Arawa, Te Arawa claimant, but the actual practice belongs to Tainui, you just call it I live down to uh, New Zealand and Te Arawa, which is the first way. <laughs> so just for context, uh, Ngātoro Irangi was supposed to be on the Tainui Waka Whakapapa stars from Puha Orangi, Oho Mairangi, to Rua Mutura 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 Mutura. Then Rua Mutura Mutura has two lines that come from him. There's Tua Kana Tārao and Taina Tārao, Tauma Matsua. Tarao's Kawai Heke eventually leads down to Ngātoro Irangi and Wotiro. Tumar Tauma Matsua leads to Tonga Te Kapua. Back then they were all Ngāti Oho Mairangi. Hence why Ngāti Tūwhare Tōr, which is what is your dad's um, email in that row. Hence why Tūwhare Tōr has such close affiliations to both Tauri and especially to Ngāti Rau, from where obviously some of the lands that we still live in. Um, anyway, skipping forward, the name of the Tepe 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 is Pukete o Ruaimumu. It refers to the time when Ngātoro Orangi was uh, ascending Tongariho in the middle of New Zealand. As the cold was taking in, he took a karakira on Ngātoro Irangi and he sent out to Hawaii the message which reached his sister. And the tohu that told them Ngātoro Irangi was in trouble was their fire turned from yellow to blue as it, uh, as it burned. The names of the sisters were Kuiwai, who sits at the top of the Tefa Tefa. Oh, sorry, the name Ho Naro, who sits at the top. Knowing that Ngā was in trouble, they filled six kete with different elements of fire, which they were able to do because being descendants of Ruaimoko, the unborn child, the Kete of Ruaimoko, hence the Ingwa for your time. They then transformed into fire atua and travelled along the Ahikōmo underground fire channels to get to a Ngā before he was succumbed to the cold. Most people know that the names of the atua are Te Kūkūra Te Hoata. The sisters didn't know where to find him, so they came out to check in a few places, but every time they came up, they used up the contents of those kete they had prepared. Some of those places are Tikitere, Waimanu, Orake, Korako, Vokaru, all thermal hot springs around the prison. Before finally making it to him on their last part of the on Tumoto, the hero side of Kuhi Wawari Kutumu, I conquered the south. So that's the co pop of the home of the Tepa Tepa Road. Hopefully it brings you all the strength and courage that you need for your most journeys to I know that times haven't always been easy, bro. But nonetheless, you always carry yourself like a leader, as has been said amongst all, all of us. No matter what you and Bex are going through, wherever, wherever in your company or your home, you feel nothing but love, you're always warm and inviting. I've never met too many people as beautiful as Bex on the outside. Whose mirror, whose beauty is is, uh, is probably diminished by the beauty that she has within your arm. She is always welcoming and inviting you both are. When you went to Canberra this time last year, nothing's ever had any trouble to all of you guys. And I know they experience those same feelings in our home, but it's just about reciprocating the other part. I think life is about laws of attraction. So hopefully you're good people, you're surrounded by good people too. So we wanted to present that to you both by the boat. Let's <laughs> go! 
um, he still leads leads by example today. Um, when we're young kids, um, all of us kids are uh, new. Um, you know, he's a hard man, but he's an honest man. And um, till today, he um, he still leads the way in what he, what he does in life. And um, Dr. Nate, I always looked up to you. Um, you're a great man. A man of uh, not many words, but he speaks by action. And um, that's how I, uh, I respect him. I love Yoko. Thank you for coming. You, Auntie, the grandies, and the cousin. Thank you very much. Another guy who's here tonight, uh, here tonight is uh, Uncle Johnny. Um, <laughs> Uncle Johnny Lomax. If it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't be here who I am today. Um, he, was, uh, you know, he was always the man of the family, Uncle Johnny. Um, and I always wanted to reach that, that level that he was at. I never quite got there, but um, I tried my hardest. And, uh, it wasn't for your cool. um, you know, it was I remember in 94 when I watched you uh, get suspended. I remember the game, the game against the Bulldogs. And um, it, was, it wasn't for people like you, you know, for us young kids growing up, trying to reach the pinnacle that you were at. Um, man, um, I wouldn't be here where I am today with Daddy Oku and um, all the low mixes. Um, but York, thank you very much. A um, couple of other people um, I'd like to mention tonight. Um, Martin Doran of the Barrel. Um, these two, no one knows them. Um, Uncle Daz and Auntie Dora, like a second mum and dad. They're not only me, but a Heaps of the boys here tonight. Heaps of the boys. Um, Uncle Dad sort of um, got us into rugby league, softball, whatever it was, he got us off the streets. And he, um, you know, he made, it, made us who we are today, him and Auntie. And, um, you know, I always tell you, Uncle and Auntie, thank you very much for the people you are bringing me up the way you did, bringing all of us boys up the way you did. Um, and if it wasn't for you, you two, um, we wouldn't be the guys we are today. Um, love you, and um, thank you very much. Um, from my mom and dad. Um, yeah. Mom and dad, I love you heaps. Um, dad, you're right, you're a strict man. You're honest man, and uh, if it wasn't for those uh, parties keep me home from, uh, if you wouldn't be here today, but um, um, I love you heaps, you're my, always my best friend, um, you're always the, you know, the one I come quiet to when they kick my ass. <laughs> but um, I love you heaps, and, um, and my sister too, my two brothers, Dave, there's Monique too, I love you both. I love you all. Um, my bro, my best mate, Billy Lutz. Um, bro, he, uh, some dark times, bro. We were fit on dark times, you know. But um, I thank you, bro, for picking me out of those times. Um, being the man you are today with your kids and um, you know, you're not my best friend, you're my brother, man, and you're um, the man. Love you, but, um, yeah, last but not least, for life, um, yeah, um, thank you very much for, um, being you know, my best mate, um, we've been through a lot, you know, and, um, 
us. We were hard about him and um, not many people, um, even our close ones, know what we actually go through, but you have been there through everything, you know, everything. Um, I met you when I was 21, now I'm 40. Um, I love you. And, um, you know, without, um, without you, you know me. And, and um, I love you very much. Thank you. I'd like to um, just give one hug of you tonight. Um, Tima Tatama, all my cousins who want to come up and represent. Thank you.